Hi guys, and welcome back to the Pildura channel. Today we are here with Valerie and with Elena. Hi. So today I'm doing a Mexican inspired shoot because I really wanted to be proud of my heritage and I wanted to announce to the world that I am in fact Mexican. I came from Chihuahua, Mexico. I spent a part of my childhood there and I just wanted to talk about what it's like being a Mexican-American. Let's have some fun, let's do a shoot, and then we'll get into a little bit of the nitty-gritty later. Let's go! So amazing we had some incredible shots inspired by Mexico by Mexican culture as you can see I still have flowers in my hair and I don't know if I'm ever gonna take them out because I'm obsessed I was inspired to do this shoot today because I want everyone to know that I'm a Mexican American I am proud to be Mexican I lived in Mexico as a child and I moved to the United States at age six years old and I really just want people to know that I'm Mexican and I'm proud and I think this is a really important time to do that with so much anti-Hispanic things going on in our country in the US so with the recent violence that has been going on and the shootings that happened in El Paso I was really inspired to do this shoot really inspired to speak out as a Mexican-American and just to say that I'm here I am Mexican and I'm proud to be Mexican I was inspired and I was also heartbroken because I knew two people in the El Paso shooting when I explain to people that I am Mexican-American there's a lot of questions about that and the first reaction that I get is, you're not Mexican. Yes, I am. So I speak Spanish. Uh, I grew up in Mexico, although I was not born in Mexico. A little complicated, I guess. So my grandparents had a house in Dallas. And I was born in that house in Dallas, well, at the hospital. But my mom was living in that house for a couple of days, a couple of weeks while I was born because my parents wanted me to have American citizenship. So we were fortunate enough to have that house. But we were living in Mexico, in Chihuahua, Mexico. Spoke Spanish as my first language until about age six, at which point my family and I moved from Chihuahua, Mexico to Dallas, Texas, actually into that house that was my grandparents. Not all Mexicans are dark-skinned. There's a lot of different types of Mexicans living in Mexico. Like the US, a lot of Mexicans come from all over the world. My ancestors actually come from Portugal. So we are European Mexicans that live in the north of Mexico, which tends to have a lot of other European Mexicans. And so a lot of other Mexicans live in that area of Mexico in Chihuahua look similar to me. My mom is American. She was born in California and her background is Norwegian and German. When I started digging a little deeper, I found out that even my Mexican family, my grandfather has French in his background and also has Portuguese and a little bit of Spanish. So I'm just basically like a Euro mutt that ended up in Mexico and then I moved to Texas. So now I'm a Tex-Mex and now I've lived in LA and now I've lived in New York and I've even lived in Paris. So I don't really know what that makes me, but I just feel like a well-rounded world lover. <laughs> I actually have always really been proud of being Mexican. I've never had a moment where I didn't want to be Mexican. It's a beautiful culture and it's so misunderstood and really people need to dig deeper to understand what the values and the culture is in Mexico. And one of the things that I find most beautiful about being a Mexican is how deeply Mexicans value family. And that's something that's so special to me about my upbringing is my Mexican side of the family. We all get together. It's just like an amazing reunion. And it's like lots of delicious foods and it's just so much fun. And this is something that's very typical of Mexican culture. And I think it's really beautiful and something that I felt really disconnected from as I moved to the United States because when I was in Chihuahua, we would every Sunday get together at my grandmother's house and have this beautiful lunch that was cooked by a chef that was actually in her house for over, still in her house, so it was been over 40 years now. And the chef is, is part of the family. So when I moved to the United States, I lost connection to a lot of my family. Eventually, my dad moved back to Mexico and it became just me, my mom, 
and my brother, and that felt really shocking to me. It was a culture shock. A lot of the times we would just eat fast food and we were not getting home-cooked meals anymore. So I was really in shock when I came to the U.S. and realized that a lot of people don't have big families and a lot of people don't gather to celebrate things together. So my relationship with my parents has been ups and downs. It's now amazing with both of my parents, but as we all have ups and downs in different phases of our lives, I think it really just depends what we're going through. When I was a teenager, I was kind of a psycho. So <laughs> I definitely didn't have a good relationship at that point, but I'm not sure it really had anything to do with me being Mexican. But I think part of what I was rebelling against is this big cultural shock of being in the United States and being separated from my family. So I think I was mad at my mom for taking us away from Mexico. And I think I was mad at my dad for leaving us. So I was really mad at my dad for a long time and I didn't really want to be connected to him in any way. And then eventually I took it out on my mom and that caused a lot of pain in my family. And eventually I just took it out on myself. And that's been something that I have worked on a lot because for a long time I really didn't like myself. It's been hard to figure out what I identify with being here in the US moving from Mexico, having an American mom that's blonde with blue eyes, having a Mexican dad that's still living in Mexico, being separated from my big family in Mexico. I felt very alone at many times, and I think this caused a lot of pain within me, and I didn't always know what to do with that pain, so I did turn to drugs and alcohol at one point. I did turn to self-abuse at one point, and everything really changed for me when I started doing yoga and when I started working on myself and when I connected to the planet. And since I've found my purpose with sustainability, with sustainable fashion, everything has changed. For a lot of Mexicans that are looking for a better life, it is definitely not an easy journey and it's very difficult to cross the border. So I just want to praise all of the Mexicans that have made it here. And I think that's something that we can do as Americans is to recognize the hardships of Mexicans that have made it so far from home. Some of them are running away from a bad situation and they have risked their lives to be here. So we just take a minute to realize that and to have a bit of compassion. Something that made me so proud when I moved to the United States and happy to be a part of this country is that I realized that this country was really diverse and it's a land of immigrants. So we need to realize that, that the United States is here to be a place of of diversity and we initially took this land from Native Americans just 250 years ago and instead of letting the political situation right now divide us use all of this for energy to unite us and use it for good let's get together let's start conversations and let's do beautiful photo shoots about where we're from <laughs> so thank you guys for listening to me today I hope you enjoyed hearing about my upbringing in Mexico and my struggles as a Mexican-American, but also my joys. So I absolutely love being from Mexico. I love being from America. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to be a Mexican. And I am so excited to show you guys these photos. So thank you so much for listening. And don't forget to subscribe to the Pildor channel and share your stories with me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.